Here we're on page 11 with your next tune, your next song. This is, I don't know how to pronounce this. Damsa Chat Meshti Cheo. That is a mixture of Spanish, Italian, and English pronunciation of Irish words. <laughs> the, uh, it's a folk song that you'll probably recognize. It's not from the British Isles, though. So this song, there are a couple of things to talk about with this song. This introduces a few different things we haven't seen before. One of them, right from the beginning, is, uh, you'll see right at the beginning, instead of the letter C, which we talked about with the previous song, which meant common time, which is just a, an abbreviation for 4-4, four, four, which means the bottom four means you're working with quarter notes as your basis for dividing the, the, the timing of the song. And that top four meant that you would have four quarter notes per measure. Well, now we have three, four. So just the same, that bottom four means we're dealing in terms of quarter notes, but that top is a three instead of a four. That means we have three quarter notes per measure instead. So instead of counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like a waltz, right? And some other, some other uh, musical form. Again, we're not going to go super deep into this, but I'll try to find some good videos to link down below. So check out the description below if you want some more, some more talk through about time signatures and stuff like that. The next thing to look at with this music is that you'll notice at the beginning, it's kind of like there's a note outside of the measure, right? It starts on this low A and with one low A quarter note, then suddenly we have this thick line marker and then we start seeing a half note and quarter note. Ah, remember that. A half note is worth two quarter notes, so a half note is two, and then the quarter note is the third, so that's our three for a full measure. So what's up with this odd guy out, this first low A, that's way back there at the very beginning? That's called a pickup note. And one thing you'll notice is if you look at the very last measure, it has a half note, which is only worth two. So if you take that last measure and add to it this pickup note, you got three. So all things become equal. That's, that's a pretty typical thing you'll see with bagpipes. Usually with bagpipes, you strike in the bag, you play E, and sometimes that E is written in as a pickup note, sometimes it's not, it's just implied, and then you kind of dive into the song. So in this case, if I was playing this on bagpipes, I'd strike in, and I might have played E, and i go... <laughs> like that. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll get more of a feel for that later, but that's just to give you an idea of what you're looking at. So we do have written in some numbers above each measure. That's just to help you get comfortable with counting in three instead of four. So you'll see that above that odd man out at the beginning, that low A, we have a three, right? So it's like you imagine that you've already counted one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Now pause right there. That's the third full measure. We have a dotted half note. So whenever you have a note with a value, be that a quarter note, a half note, or anything else, if you add a dot behind it, that means you add one half of what that note was worth. Okay, so if a half note is worth two beats and then we add a dot, we're adding 50% to it so it becomes worth three beats. So a dotted half note fills up a three, four measure all by itself. So enough about that. If you want more about that, start Googling and you may, you may already know all this stuff so I hate to, hate to bore you. So I'll put a marker at the bottom as to where the actual instruction starts here. So we're starting from the beginning we're going to have a low A, and then we go to D, then we go to low A, then we go to D, then we go to low A, and then we go to D, and then we go to low A, and starting the next line, we go to D. So this is pretty simple. Uh, what we're focusing on is counting. So let's see if we can count this out correctly. And I apologize, I was going to use a metronome for this, but my metronome's battery died, so then I thought, oh, I'll just use my phone, but I'm recording this on my phone. So we're going to use our internal metronome, and I'll have a functional metronome for future videos. So here we go. We're going to do the whole first line, okay, right from the beginning to the end. So, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, now we played it. We're going to sing it to make sure we're getting the timing right, okay? So, we're going to count one, two, three. One, two, A, D, A, D, A, D, A. You know 
notice how that D from the third full measure to the fourth got held out? You'll see that tie between the D in the third measure to the D in the fourth measure, right? That means that you don't stop playing in between, right? So basically we have a D that's worth three in the, fourth, in the third measure and a D that's worth two in the fourth measure, right? Because it's a dotted half note and then a half note. So really what we have here is a D that's worth five beats. But in this time signature, you can't really write one note that's worth five beats, so we tie the two together, right? Okay, so let's sing and count one more time, and then we'll play it one more time. One, two, three, one, two, A, D, two, three. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's tricky to count and do the, the notes. I'll, I'll count on my fingers and sing the notes. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, A, D, A, D, A, D, A. Okay, let's play it. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, now that low A that we just landed on, we're going to pick up from that and go to the second line. So it'll be A on the end of the first line, then we pick up with D, E, D, C, D, E, and then we land on another low A, okay? Let's sing it first, okay? So picking up from the last measure of the first line, we've got that D that takes up two, one, two, and then the A starts, okay? So one, two, a, D, E, D, C, D, E, A, okay, sing it one more time, one, two, A, D, E, D, C, D, E, A, okay, now let's play it. One more time. One, two. Okay, so now again, we're gonna pick up from that low A that we just landed on, the low A at the end of the second line, and go into the third line, okay? Now, if you want a little exercise, in the same way that you have the numbers for counting written out along the top of the first two lines, write them out for yourself on the above the third and fourth lines. So the C that starts the third line, we'd have one, two, then that low A is three. Then the same with the next measure, one, two for C, low A is three. And then that C that's worth three in the third measure, C, two, three, tied to a C that's worth two in the fourth measure, C, C. And then beat number three for that measure is the low A again, and so forth, okay? So here we go singing again. Um, end of the second line, the last note of the second line, into the third line, okay? So, one, two, A, C, A, C, A, C, A, okay? Sing it one more time. One, two, A, C, A, C, A, C, A, Play it. One, two. Okay, play it one more time. One, two. Okay, and the last line, picking up from that low A again at the end of the third line, it's going to be A, C, D, C, B, C, D. Okay, let's sing that one more time. End of the third line, into the fourth. One, two. A, C, D, I'm sorry. One, two. 
A, C, D, C, B, C, D. Okay, now let's play it. Let's play that one more time. So now, what are those double dots that we see at the very end of the line, very end of the song, those two dots? That's a repeat marker. So what that means is you bounce off of those back through the music until you see two dots kind of pointing you in the opposite direction, which is right at the beginning of the song. So right now this repeat is set up to make you play this song twice, but without that little pickup note at the beginning. So that's probably not the way it should be, but <laughs> Um, but it's to help us practice looking at these repeat markers and uh, and utilizing them in the right way. So we would end that song on that D, one, two, three, one, two, and go straight to the D at the beginning of the song. One, two, and just start that song all over again. One, two, A, D, A, D, okay? So let's try playing the whole song. And when we get to the end, we're going to take this tiny little breath, and start again at the beginning, at the D at the beginning of the song, okay? So, it, it, it'll feel a little funky, but um, here we go. We're gonna do the whole thing uh, at a steady pace. We'll go one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Play that a bunch, show it to your friends and family, tell them, hey, I can play bagpipes, you want to hear a bagpipe song, and then play them this one. It'll be a lot of fun. <laughs>